Okay, we're going to put in the uh, Minivation uh, iPhone holder. And the first thing uh, to do with the instructions is to pop out the uh, the ashtray. It was a bit fiddly because of the trim that's up here, but with a little bit of um, prying, it uh, I finally got it to pop out. And then my other issue was uh, with taking... Well, you want to make sure that you put the uh, knurled boss on the bottom side uh, per the instructions. And uh, then this little slot up here is to run your cord through. So uh, it'll depend on uh, what I'm going to do is install this first. And then before I tighten anything down, run the, run the cord uh, up through that slot. But one of the things that I found was I originally, these little slots on either side need to go around a tab that's just on the back side of this rail. And what I was trying to do, I thought that I needed to slide it one way so that the other one could drop down and then you'd kind of center it within the distance of these two because this tab and this tab, they will not, what I found, is they will not slip over this tab. So what I found was what you need to do is you need to come at that tab from the from the bottom. See if I can replicate that at this stage. And it slides in from the bottom. So if you do that, come at the tab, because it's open on the bottom. If you do that from the bottom, it'll slide right on up and into the uh, into those tabs, and then it's basically locked into place. So at this stage, what you need to do is, or what I need to do, is to uh, run a cord up through that, through this, this slot here. So I need to uh, kind of drop this down and run this cord up through that slot uh, because after that, um, will be attaching the actual iPhone holder and I won't be able to do that any longer because this will this little slot will be um, won't be accessible to me anymore to it won't this won't fit through okay so this is what we're what I was talking about is that you want to run your iPhone cord up through this I think they call it a cord management slot and you want to do that at this stage before you uh, attach the actual iPhone holder. So as we can see now, this is this is in those little slots, and there's there's a little give one way or the other, but the, those slots are already engaged in that uh, in that tab. So you can see there's just a little bit of nice even clearance uh, on the back side of that rail where those tabs are uh, uh, are engaging with the the little metal tab that's on the actual bar. So I'm getting ready to. Uh, install the Minivation iPhone holder and I just wanted to show that the I'll take it away so there's our there's our clip below and then there's a slot at the top of the uh, uh, bracket and then that slips right over top for a nice clean installation and then you have a cord that's that's only going to be coming out from behind the dash plugging into the phone and it won't have it dragging across the uh, your speedometer and all those sorts of things um, and just generally getting in the way. So once that cord's in place, it can kind of run behind the um, dashboard, little cardboard um, pieces that run along the back side of the, the classic mini dashboard and uh, come out to wherever your uh, USB power source is. Okay, I've got the uh, bolt started in the uh, base plate, and I'm supporting it from underneath. There's a small gap in the uh, uh, under the dash rail there that I can support that. And then I've got my Allen wrench, and I'm just going to snug that up and a little bit. The uh, the thing to really be careful with is that you don't want to lose the uh, that bottom plate at this point from dropping off its tabs 
because if you do that, you kind of got to undo things, get that back on those tabs, and then tighten it back down. So at this point, I just need to uh, finish tightening up uh, this one screw, and uh, we'll be able to uh, start mounting the iPhone. Uh, note that we've got, we do have the uh, the cord running through there because it's important to do that at this stage. Otherwise, you got to loosen everything back up and start all over again. Okay, we've got the uh, little nut uh, screw back here, a bolt, uh, tightened up. And so this is nice and nice and sturdily, sturdily, sturdily mounted into the uh, ashtray slot. Um, seems like in mine there's a small, small little gap. There wasn't much play. Uh, wasn't enough play to get it for me to get it uh, centered to kind of cover that up, but that's not going to be not going to be any kind of an issue. And I do have my uh, cord uh, running through the uh, slot in the back, and so then my cord will run out the uh, base of the rail here, and I'll be able to snug that back up under the uh, cardboard piece in the rail, and then on down to my my power supply. So uh, very nice. It uh, works back and forth. Here's my little tension and then I still need to put on the little rubber pads on either side.